Hi friends, this is a quick recap of my green onion experiment that I did a while ago. This is a 4 in 1 experiment. First one is using the cuttings from store bought green onions. I just cut the green portion and placed the remainings in aero garden. Second one is started from the seeds and I added aerogarden nutrients in both gardens. Just within two weeks, I see a bunch of greens ready from the cuttings while the little seedlings are just coming up in the garden with seeds. Now I am adding a third variation. This is again using cuttings but I am placing them in a glass with some plain water. We can argue that the green onions can be regrown easily in a glass of water with a little light. But it's not quite true. I will explain what I mean by end of this experiment. It's been three weeks. I am seeing very strong, thick, tall and wide green onions from cuttings. The green onions from seeds are still at baby stage. The cuttings in the glass of plain water are just one week old and showing good progress but nothing much to talk about them at this point. It's been four weeks. The cuttings took over the entire garden. The green onions from the seeds also grown up but they are no way comparable to the cuttings. Now coming to the third variation. The green onions growing in plain water under aerogarden lights are two weeks old and they are showing decent progress. But I can clearly see that they are not as strong as the cuttings growing in aerogarden with aerogarden nutrients. These greens are very soft and delicate. So, any plant requires nutrition for a successful growth and green onions are no exception. For now, they are using the energy from the bulb and regrowing. Once all that energy from the bulb is consumed, they will not grow anymore. With all these observations, I recently added a fourth variation. In this variation, I took a small plastic ball with lid made holes on the lid and inserted the cuttings. Added some water into the bowl and added a drop of aerogarden nutrients. Then I kept this whole setup next to the aerogarden. I see the green onions are coming pretty nice in this method. Of course, still not as good as the cuttings growing in aerogarden directly with aerogarden nutrients, but these greens are not bad. So, based on all my efforts and observations, these are my takeaways from this experiment. Number one, we can regrow the green onions from cuttings in plain water, but the growth will be slow and they can grow only once or twice, and slowly their growth will be degraded. If you want them to feed you, first you need to feed them. Number two, though we can grow green onions from the seeds, the growth will be very slow. Cuttings will be super fast and you can start harvesting the green onions from day 10. Number 3. We can certainly argue that whether we need to dedicate the entire aero garden for green onions while it has great potential to grow much bigger things. I don't disagree. Unless we are so passionate about green onions, it is not worth. Finally, I want to call out one small issue. The onion roots will release some slimy residue into the water. So we must change the water frequently. Otherwise, we will start noticing some smell coming from the water. Alright, that's the quick recap from my 4-in-1 green onion experiment. You can find the full video in the description below. Please refer to it if you need detailed explanation. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.